Hello everyone. This is Jane Becker with 365 things to do in Worcester County. And I'm visiting Brian, my friend from the tropical world. He's in a new location on West Boylston Street in the same plaza as the Halloween outlet. One of my favorite things to do is to come visit Brian and see all the new birds. This bird is Jake. And Jake is a beautiful, beautiful green wing macaw. Jake, can you say hello? Show me how pretty you are, Jake. Come on, Jake, show me how pretty. Oh, hello, Jake. You gonna wave? Show me how you wave. That's a good boy. What a good boy, Jake. Thank you, Jake. Oh, look how pretty you are. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, my, look at you. You are so pretty. Oh, yes, you are. You are so awesome, Jake. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, very cool, Jake. You're a good bird. Wow. This is one of my favorite things to do is to visit Brian at his new store. It is full of cool toys and uh, products for birds and fish. That is his specialty. If you like fish and if you like birds, this is the best place for it. And here we are with Brian, the owner, and some of his friends. And could you introduce yourself and your friend? I'm Paul, and this is just a baby that we haven't named yet. You haven't named the baby, and it, what, no. what kind of a breed is it? It's an African gray. And which kind? Is it a, a Timney or it's Congo? A Congo? It's a Congo. See, this, you didn't know there's gonna be a test today, right? So, that, how old is that baby? About 13 weeks. 13 weeks. So one of the things it seems like you like to do is what I like to do is come and say hello to all the birds. Yep. Okay. So, um, how long will it take for this bird to uh, be ready for a new home? Probably just um, probably another four, four to six weeks. Four to six weeks. Awesome. Awesome. And you're doing a wonderful job taming that bird and it's going to go to somebody's home who's gonna love it and take care of it and um, enjoy it mm -hmm. all right thank you and we have some very talkative birds over here this is an amazon oh and you're so friendly yes hi hello and they're boarders brian boards animals here Brian, do you want to quote prices or you want them to find out when they get here? The best in town. Absolutely. I, I have a testimonial that Brian's prices are the best in town. Uh, I got my best friend and the baby from Brian. And when you buy a bird from Brian, for the rest of Brian's life, he will take care of it. He will clip the wings and Absolutely. clip the nails. With tender loving care. Brian, can you tell us what is the most important thing about um, when you choose a bird, what you're supposed to know when you decide to buy a bird? What is the one thing that you need to know? The most important thing of all is never listen to a person that's selling a bird. Uh -oh. The most important thing when you go into a bird store is you get a bird that you like. You may come in the store for something entirely different and go out with just the opposite. But the most important thing is to have a bird you can handle because they have a great longevity. A lot of the birds are going to be 85 to 90 years old, in some cases 100. But the most important thing is get the bird that you like and don't listen to anybody buying the bird. Is there any, do you ever recommend a bird for a person? I will never do that. A person should always find their own bird because it's for some reason a bird doesn't, you know, right for them. They, a person can always come back and say, you told me. You find the bird you like. Always remember one thing, a baby bird has no likes, no dislikes. What you do with that baby bird is what the bird is going to turn out to be. If you handle it, as you can see in a case like this, just completely and down. Paul's bought several birds off me, and they just lay there. They're perfectly tame and loving. But birds like that need the affection. It's not something to buy on a whim. Okay. Now, you also have fish here, and I know that you love fish. We probably have the largest ex ex display of tropical fish in Worcester. Okay. Variety. We have birds from all over the world. Same thing with fish from mm -hmm. all over the world. We have salt water and fresh water. 
All right. Well, let me take a look at your fish and show everybody your fish. I see a little critter over here. This is not something you specialize in. No, that was brought in for me to find a home for. I see. We get them all the time. So when we get people to bring them in, yes. we have waiting lists for people that can't really afford them. We mm -hmm. give them just for free. Awesome. Awesome. Let me take a, a look at your fish. Um, very, very clean, beautiful store. One of my favorite activities to do in Worcester County. And I know it's going to be one of yours. Oh my goodness, look at this fish. A Malaysian fish. What's the name of his fish, Brian? Flower horn. Wow, wow. That's amazing. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. This is Jane Becker with 365 things to do in Worcester County signing off. Thank you for joining me.